Thomas Stearns Elliot, born on 26 September 1880 in Missouri in the United States, died on 4th January 1965 in London in the United Kingdom, was a poet, essayist, publisher, playwright, literary critic and editor. Considered one of the 20th century's major poets, he is the central figure in English language modernist poetry. T.S. Eliot said, most of the evil in this world is done by people with good intentions. Let us now look into the word evil in this world. Is there evil in this world? Of course, everybody knows it's very dangerous world. We created a very dangerous world. Yes, before it was dangerous because of animals. So, men joined together to create a separate area only for the men to avoid the animals and they killed most of the animals or dragged them into the zoos and then they thought human beings were very beautiful but once they got disconnected with the animal world and with the nature evil starts spreading very fast from where did the word evil came evil in this world they say is because first of all there is no evil the word evil came because we got disconnected from the family we became stagnant when you are stagnant you are not moving then death is guaranteed stagnant water stinks they say hence you can see the the region which has got the highest health, best health and the longest living people, more than 100 years, 120 years old, when it was checked, when they were researched, they found those people were always on the move together and they always, whatever they do, they sing a song along with their work. So that in that song contains the slokas. Suppose if they wanted to cook, they will sing a song of the ingredients to what time they should cook. And when they everybody sings together and work together, there was no evil at all. Hence they must have thought that was a Sanskriti, that was a culture. The family will sit together, eat together, pray together, grow together. They never knew the word evil. They moved to the forest. They moved to the trees. They talked to the trees. They talked to the animals. Talked to the wind, to the sun. Everything for them is a lover. You might call it God. For them it was a lover. They, maybe they do not know the term God. They only know that they are part of the family. That wind is a part of the family, rain is a part of the family and they divert the water so beautifully, they enjoy when rain comes, they run outside to welcome and they jump and dance and take a beautiful bath. Yes, most of the evil in this world is done by people good intention, evil. Evil intentions came because you were never together. The communication gap is the greatest hurdle. A lot of communication gap has been created because of the greed to make instant money. The eye catches beautiful buildings. Recently I was reading about a tribal community in the African jungles. They were telling whenever the white men came and gave them jam and bread and when they go they used to dig it up and cover it up they don't eat one day they came and asked why I, what happened to the food that we are given they said we digged it up and buried it up and they said no 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 it is you please eat and the first person ate the jam it was very tasty they kept on eating bread and jam and more and more people got used to bread and jam and for a Within months, diseases started spreading very fast. They didn't know what to do. Old people started dying very fast. Yes. It is not because bread and jam was bad. It was their circumstances in the wild. They got used to eating. Now they are telling they do not go to 
search the go don't go in search of fruits or vegetables the men used to carry huge bag of wheat flour fruits jam bread and then they have to only cook that means stagnation came otherwise every day they have to they thought oh now we do not have to worry about food we do not walk very fast food is right in the front and sometimes it is ready made bread and or just dip it they were thinking that was enjoyment so they started among themselves a small enjoyment they got disconnected with nature evil started diseases entered people started talking bad fights erupted when you go to the forest hide and seek is so beautiful most of the evil in this world is done people good intention where is good intention can we talk about that good intention who has got the good intention when there is evil when you have not practiced the sanskrit with your with your family you didn't sit together even now in the cities you can do it you can sit together take bath together eat together joke together but to make sure all the mobiles are switched off televisions are switched off during that period of one hour or two hour only you and your people nobody else that's what all the lovers are say tell you the same thing that only i and you alone and the whole world should stop good intentions why did good intentions come first of all intention was not there why should there be an intention so there is not good intention and bad intention there is no good in your bad because everything is a way of life and why should you think that you are going to do something for somebody good together it happens this you are working together you are in love with your plants you make sure the branches are cut and then you divert the water properly to more sunlight to come inside you trim it up to make sure sunlight falls right inside and the other ones are taken out they call it weeding unnecessary weeds are removed from around them so that it grows healthy and you remove the same thing when you go out always on the move you don't have to have any good intentions it keeps growing better and better ts elliot said most of the evil in this world is done by people with good intention like the teachers like the education department they all think of good intention and they force things into the textbook for children to read without thinking that breakfast lunch tea snacks dinner are all given at one time for the child to eat and constipation comes so many subjects but zero practical it is borrowed knowledge from the invaders and once you borrow knowledge from the invaders like how this tribal lady was telling the moment the bread and jam can be buried it up but when they forced it when we ate it, it was tasty but within months disease spread major part of the elderly men was dying very very fast the same thing when they borrowed knowledge from the western cult or not let us not use the western cult borrow knowledge from another source and forced it over here making the child sit in the classroom for hours together stagnation happened that forced is good intention they thought it was good intention but it was not a good intention it was the intention of the devil the two person rich devil's intention to get more slaves not that the children who go into the schools are going to have beautiful knowledge they are going to become intelligent those both were not there they never became intelligent never they became knowledgeable they only to because to stop them from asking they thought give them more education forced education and blare it in the media 100 times said life becomes a truth that you're going to get big jobs big buildings and all but in all those buildings people are living in fear when the child has been forced to sit in a bench or desk or chair for hours together and one man standing in front shut your mouth shut your mouth or there's another man telling learn so that you will get more learn you they creating greed good intention and when the good intention is not happening evil thoughts spreads they know they have been cheated for years the children in the classrooms were cheated for years 
And when the child sits and the two person which keeps on pumping money into the schools and universities to get more slaves, they wanted more slaves. When the child sits in one place, they know the well, when they grow at 18 years, they get these children as slaves into the factories and companies to work non-stop sitting in one place, in one place, inside the factory, not moving, inside the company, not moving. They got it and people lived in fear and then they say it's all for good intention. We became evil, we started using the police to beat you, we dragged you into the jail because you didn't listen to us. They suppressed your freedom, they made you nobody, you, they robbed money, public robbing money from your parents, telling send the children to the school, all the hard earned money, they, they robbed it. And then they took the children into the factories and companies, they again robbed it from them, gave them a pittance. That is where good intention and the evil, most of the evil in the world is done by people. Good, now you know good intentions came from there. It is not from the organic, it is not from the reality of life. Now come back to your house. If you have can uh, water, they say, if you like it, you pluck it. But if you love it, you water it. Water every part of your body, every part of your wife and husband and children and the family. And you, can, you know all this was bullshit that they made you sit for hours in the school and university and made you and nobody got disconnected in the name of disconnected you from your family. You didn't know what is love. You have to learn love from the books. Most of the evil in the world is done by people with good intention. When you water every part, you, you, you will see that everything in the house, every part of your body and family, when you water beautiful flowers and fruits, in fact, excess fruits and flowers will just, you will have, not even have time even to collect it. That much is the money coming, but they have taught you to like it. So you will pluck it. Pluck it is just like pickpocketing, robbery. Think about it. T.S. Eliot said, most of the evil in the world is done by people with good intentions. How to remove evil now, you know. Go back and practice. Together we will become great lovers. For God to descend and see God.